Morning, this is Mr. Johnson. We are beginning with Module 5, Lesson 3. Today we're going to be talking about composing and decomposing right rectangular prisms using layers. So we're going to be building some cubes and we're also going to be breaking up cubes into different ways. Um, and we're also going to be talking a little bit more now about the formula for volume, which several of you know already as length times width times height. So let's get into our first problem. We are going to be using this prism to find the volume. Um, so what we're going to do is, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to find the height, which is, the, the height is always my number of layers, all right? You could think of this prism kind of as a cake. I, you know, you guys are, I've heard me refer to it as a building, different layers of a building, different floors, the layers, is always talking about your height. So this prism has a height of two or two layers. So I know in my first box on my chart, I can go ahead and put number of layers is gonna be two. And now I have to figure out how many cubes are in each layer. So I'm gonna focus on the bottom layer and figure out how many cubes are in it. So I know if I already have my height, the only thing that I need to find is my length and my width. So I'm going to go ahead and find my length. Looks like I have one, two, three, four, five, six cubes there. And then my width is going to be along the side. One, two, two cubes. So to find the number of cubes in each layer, like I said, I need to find the area. And I know my area is going to be my length times width. So I'm going to do six times two, which we all know is 12. So now if I have 12 cubes in each layer and there are two layers, I'm going to do 2 times 12 to find the volume now if I already have the area. I'm just going to take that area of 12 and multiply it by my number of layers, which is 2, or my layers, which is my height, is 2. 2 times 12 is 24 cubic centimeters. We've been working with centimeters, so we'll keep going with that. So now what we're going to be doing is we are going to be taking the same shape of this prism that we just worked with and breaking it up in different ways to still find that volume of 24 cubic centimeters, okay? So we can do it in different ways. Um, we can focus on kind of looking, it kind of reminds me of like a loaf of bread or we can just cut, we can cut the, um, the shape into different ways and, and figure out how many cubes we'll have in each layer that will result in us having 24 cubic centimeters to end. So this first one, and again, you can follow along with me, or if you would like to do this on your own, you can absolutely do that. So the first one, I am going to cut just like this, the one we just looked at. I'm going to cut it right down the center. So I'm still going to have two layers, but this time I'm not going to go ahead and draw all those separate lines that have all those individual cubes. Instead, it's still going to have the same number of cubes on each layer. I'm going to have 12, 12 cubes on the top and the top layer, and I'm going to have 12 cubes on the bottom. So I'm still going to have those two layers. I'm still going to have a height of two, and I am good, but I and I am also going to have 12 cubes in each layer. So it is very similar to my top model. It just doesn't have each specific cube. Now for this second model, what I can do is I'm going to think of it more as like a loaf of bread, okay? Instead of having four, four specific cubes in each layer, I'm still gonna make the layers, but I'm just not gonna have the cubes. So I'm still gonna have four cubes in each layer, but I'm, not, I'm just not gonna draw those specific cubes, all right? So I'm still gonna have, I'd have a length of six layers, so there'd be number of layers would be six, and the number of cubes in each layer is going to be four. So it's a little bit different, all right? It's like this time we, instead of our height being up and down, we made our height to the left and right. So six times four, which is going to get us 24 cubic centimeters. And then the last way we can do it, we are going to cut the shape directly in half. Now, how many cubes now would be in each layer? We're going to have 12, all right? If we look back to our original prism, 
you can see that there are 12 cubes on the one side and 12 cubes on the other. We still want a result with a volume of 24 cubic centimeters. So we're going to have 12, 12, set, 12 cubes on each side to make 24. So we're going to still have two layers. We have the both that have 12. The number of cubes in each layer is going to be 12. And when we multiply that out, it's going to get us 24 cubic centimeters. We're going to move on to B. And again, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to find the number of layers. I'm going to find my volume. Find I know that my length is going to be four cubes. My width is going to be two cubes. And that there are three cubes. And that three cubes is my number of layers, my height. So I'm going to go ahead and put number of layers as three. Now I need to figure out how many cubes are in each layer. So like I said, the number of cubes in each layer is going to be my area. And I know area is length times width. So I'm going to take my length of four, my width of two. Four times two is eight. So I know I have eight cubes in each layer. So I'm going to do take my number of cubes in each layer, my area, and multiply by my height of three, eight times three. Just like our last prism is going to have the same volume of 24 cubic centimeters. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to decompose this prism in three different ways. So I'm going to, this first one is going to look similar to the, this prism we just looked at B, except I'm not going to have each individual cube. Okay, I'm going to take the same number of cubes that are in each layer and just draw out the layers. So there's the top layer and the middle and bottom layers. Now I got to remember how many cubes are in each layer. I'm going to go back to the number, I'm going to go back to my chart. It says number of cubes in each layer is eight. So I'm going to label each as eight. So that would be fine. Now I'm going to do another one. This time, instead of figuring out how many cubes are in each, each layer of my height, I'm going to change it and look at it sideways like a loaf of bread and figure out how many cubes are in each layer going back. It looks like I have six and there are four layers. So I'm going to go ahead and split it up so there are four layers. I'm going to go ahead and put six, 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 six. So now I know I have four layers and in each layer there are six. We're going to multiply that. Four times six is going to get us 24. And now just like our last one, now we're going to cut it straight down the middle and figure out how many cubes were on my left side of my figure and how many cubes were on my right. And it looks like we can take our four going across and it went three up. Four times three is 12. So we're going to have 12 on each side. So we're going to have two layers with 12 in each layer, which would get us 24. Okay, now I know this will be a little bit tricky to draw and go formative, but just do the best you can. Um, this will probably be one of the big first times where you guys will really have to use the drawing tool. Uh, just try your best, take your time. You can erase, there is an eraser over there. All right, um, I am actually going to jump to number three. You guys can handle number two, you just got to write out an explanation for Josh and Jonah and them finding the volume. For number three, it says Marcos makes a prism. That is one inch by five inches by five inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and label my volume. I'm gonna say that the length is gonna be five inches, the width is gonna be five inches, and the height is gonna be one inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and find the volume of that. I know volume is length times width times height. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my numbers, five for my length, five for my width, and one for my height. I know five times five is 25. And 25 times 1 is 25, so it's going to be 25 inches cubed. Now as I keep reading, it says he then decides to create layers equal to his first one. So if I know this is the bottom layer, each layer on top of that is going to be the same shape. So it's asking me to fill in the chart below and explain how I know the volume of each new prism. So I'm going to explain to you how to find the volume, and then you're going to have to think up an explanation to say how, what, what math or how you, what strategy you took to find the volume of each prism. So it's saying that the first, first um, figure he made had two layers. So in, our, in this prism we have right here, it has one layer. 
we want to figure out what's going to be the new volume if it has two layers. So that means it would be two inches high. And then the next one would be four inches high. And the next one would be seven inches high. So you have to use, use your understanding of volume so far to figure out what would be the volume of each of these figures as this figure gets taller and taller. Think of it as a building. If there, we built the basement floor and it's getting taller and taller as they add a floor. So you have to think about how the volume will increase as you add that height, as you add those inches in height. All right, um, I will be getting on Zoom today to answer any questions and kind of go over this PowerPoint a little bit more. So just keep keep uh, keep checking go or Google Classroom for those updates about Zoom. And if you have any specific questions, please feel free to email me. Okay. Talk to everybody soon. Have a good day.